What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. First of all, I'm sick. I feel like shit. So, how many of you guys out there are sick or, or getting whatever the shit I have is? This contagion, this fucking outbreak monkey shit. Um, yeah, just feeling real congested. Um, Want to give you guys a video, though. A lot of stuff's going on. A lot of, like I said, I'm sick. Justin Bieber sleeping with Brazilian hookers. They got this new Google Plus which is really Google Minus. It's fucking pissing me off. It's separating my comments, and certain comments don't have a reply button. I talked about this before in a previous video, but this is really pissing me off. Like, it's almost making me wish Vimeo had a, a bigger um, platform because I also have a Vimeo account for my directing and editing shit, and every time Vimeo does an upgrade, it's generally an upgrade. I just got an email from Vimeo Plus, and... They made some cool adjustments, some upgrades, but they're true upgrades, not like this Google Plus bullshit. Like, they get, they're giving you cloud storage and other shit. Um, but this YouTube bullshit, Google Plus is integrating some old dumb shit. Um, it shouldn't be this hard. They shouldn't. I don't know, man. It's like the fucking civil rights movement in the 60s when, when blacks had to use separate water faucets and whites that's how they're separating the fucking comments it's it's like google plus is one entity and then you have youtube comments as a separate if you're going to do something at least mesh the shit together and, and have it working where you can use both at the same time simultaneously not oh this is my google plus comments at the top of my youtube page i got this fucking liberty bell taco bell symbol and it's supposed to be for my google plus only comments and it's just it's annoying, man. But anyway, Mikey Garcia, as he preps for his fight tomorrow, he's looking ripped and ready. And I wanted to give my prediction for that fight. Pretty easy prediction for me to make. There was no second guessing. So for this fight, I'm picking Mikey Garcia. I think he's too technical. With Alex Ariza, it looks like his strength and conditioning work has played a part because I've never seen Mikey Garcia look this shredded looking in a fight. So they probably worked on his... Uh, reflexes, his fast twitch muscles, and just his overall explosiveness, which is going to be deadly because he's already a good, technically sound fighter. And if he feels good and he feels at his best and his body is in the best shape of his life, possibly, um, who knows the damage he could do. Rocky Martinez is a fighter that you can't overlook, you can't underestimate. He is the champion. I personally don't think he should still be the champion because I thought. Juan Carlos Borgos uh, beat him and was robbed on the judges' scorecards. The judges didn't favor him, but I thought he beat Martinez. So, technically, I don't think Martinez should still be the champion. But nonetheless, he still is. Uh, very slippery, stealthy fighter. One of the big reasons I feel that Mikey Garcia will win, aside from what Mikey Garcia does right, just being very technically sound and uh, defensive-minded as well, is the fact that Rocky Martinez, I don't think, has the punching power to knock him out or really hurt Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia's been in there with Orlando Salido and Juan Bob Lopez. Uh, whatever shots they land, he took those. So if you look at Rocky Martinez's KO percentage, it's not really up there. He doesn't have much punching power. So realistically, the only way I could see Martinez winning is via unanimous decision. But... I think overall, Mikey Garcia is going to have the more telling, um, the more crowd-pleasing blows, the shots that really make more noise. And, and uh, not to mention, he's accurate, he's precise, so I think he's going to steal rounds with that. I see this going the distance. Um, Rocky Martinez has showed a chin in the past. However, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a late stoppage. I'm not going to... Um, play Rocky Martinez and say he gets knocked out in like the first three rounds but if he got knocked out in the later rounds I wouldn't be surprised like rounds eight or later just because Mikey Garcia once he has you figured out he's kind of like a Mayweather in the sense of he knows how to sustain that lead without toying around without doing something dumb that's gonna cost him the fight like Mickey Bay or trying to showboat like Anderson Silva or whatever the shit um, so I have Mikey Garcia via decision. I think he's going to convincingly win, um, uh, possibly late round stoppage rounds eight or later. 
And it's really for the reasons I cited Mikey Garcia. I think he's just very fundamentally sound. The only thing Mikey Garcia, I think, could really work on uh, fighting on the inside as well as his applying the pressure to finish guys when he really has them hurt. Like Orlando Salido, a guy like that's a vet. So if you have an opportunity to get him out of there, you don't don't uh, take it. You let him hang around, then he's going to be dangerous for the remaining round for the rest of the fight. So work on not being so uh, passive, I guess you could say, when it comes to having a hurt man and trying to finish without putting yourself in harm's way to get Pacquiao where you're winning the round and you get knocked out. So it's a great area. It's a fine line. He just has to use his judgment in the ring if he has to really hurt to the point where the risk is likely that he'll get him out and he's not going to get himself knocked out of the process. So let me know what you guys think. Who wins, Mikey Garcia, Rocky Martinez? If you guys are sick, leave a comment. Let me know. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe to the next video. It's Ego signing off.